All right, so we did jump starting. Now I'm gonna show you how to change your tire and put all the comments below. Please don't laugh. I know some of you know how to do it. This is very basic, but some of you don't. So let's not judge too much. Let me show you how to do this. First of all, make sure you have a spare tire. Make sure you have that donut. They call it a donut because it's in America, it's a donut, it's a smaller tire here you have your jack and you have your tools to remove the bolts get your jack out of the car get it on the side get these tools put them on the side and here we have this tool to remove the bolts see got this and this is a tow hook tow the car and this to help you check up the car. Next thing, unscrew this. Some of you might have a tire underneath the car, like way underneath. So you gotta know where you have a spare tire. And once in a while, you have to inspect your tire. See? This is our tire. I know it's inflated. It's good. Good. Now let's roll it right here. Next thing you want to do, apply emergency brake. This car, this RAV4 has electronic parking brake. You want to start the car. To engage the parking brake, electronic one, what you do you like turn the key in the accessory position or just start the car no pull it pull it there you go you pull this and we have a light that says park see park and now we have parking brake on shut off your car now some cars like this for example does not have electronic parking brake your emergency brake here you have this little thing sticking out it says push on so to apply the parking brake, emergency brake, you just push on it. You hear click and your emergency brake is applied. To release it, you also push it and it's released. In some cars also you have this brake, like emergency lever. So that's easy, that's, you just pull it and then your emergency brake is on. But that car has electronic brake, this car does not have electronic brake. You see this little paddle, apply it it's on push it again and it's off all right next step if you are in emergency an emergency on the side of the road take these triangles put them like this and put these triangles away from your car so people can see it you know so the reflectors can you know see it that's a good safety point you know keep these triangles in your car now before you remove the tire your emergency brake is on put something some kind of so the car won't roll put something some kind of board or whatever put something on the behind the tire let's remove these lug nuts now all right before we actually jack up the car you have to loosen up these lug nuts you know they'll be very tight let's see if you can push it by hand see i can't do it it's very tight so you can step on it hold on you can just loosen up all of them one you can do this one is easier okay these are easier you can just step on it. loosen them up All right, good. Now we're gonna put the jack. I'll show you where to put the jack. Go on the side of your car. You see here, there's like this metal lip, which is right here. The jack is supposed to go here. See, it keeps going on. There. 
Now, if your car does not have this kind of lip and you don't have this kind of jack, just go in the big solid part of the car, like where the frame is, you know, like lift it from that point. But on this car, we have a nice lip. Now, same thing for this Venza. You see here, I have this lip right here. That's where the jack goes, right here. If you don't have it, put it jack against the metal part of the car, heavy. The next part, you take this hook right here and you attach it like so. See? And you can just twist, twist, turn, turn until the car goes up. Now, as you see, this is the front of the car right here. So I put the jack in the front here if I want to remove the front wheel. But for the rear wheel, if you're removing this rear one, you align the jack and put it right here. See, in the back, we also have this stand. So it makes sense, right? Rear tire, if you're removing it, put the jack close to the rear. Front, good, to the, to the front. I can see slowly the car is raising, the rear end is raising. And I'm gonna keep going till the end until this we see the wheel is freely in the air. Like at this point, you can see the wheel is free. It's off the ground. Our lug nuts are loose. We're gonna continue removing our lug nuts. can go by hand on this one. The so lug nuts are removed. Try to move the tire. Sometimes it won't come off easy. So for in this case you have to kick your tire on the side. But before you do that, you don't want your car to be, you know, you don't want to risk it. You don't want your car to be, uh, you don't want this jack to go out on you. So put this tire in the meantime, like underneath here. Okay, this is off, put it on the side, put this right away under your vehicle, just in case if the car, if the jack gives up, the, your car lands on the belly, uh, on the tire instead of going on the belly, just a helpful tip. Take your spare, align the holes and tighten the bolts. So I align all the holes, I put the uh, spare on, and with my foot I'm holding the lower portion. Take some lug nuts. There. Now, I am not tightening these lug nuts yet. I'm just uh, putting them on by hand. Before we lower the car, I'm gonna tighten them a little, little bit. And then once the car is on the ground, then you tighten them much better. Okay, the wheel is still up in the air. Take your, uh, tighten the bolts by hand as much as you can, like so. And once the car is on the ground, then we're gonna tighten them better. Get your flat tire out of the, from under the car. And let's start lowering the vehicle. Turn it counterclockwise. So I start turning counterclockwise to lower the car. Car is on the ground. Trying to do everything with one hand.
and that's it. Now once the car is on the ground, tighten these bolts in a star pattern. This one first, that one across. Good. All right, very good. That's how you change the tire. And go around the car, collect all your equipment, get the triangle out of the way. This thing, remove, remove your electronic brake. Start the car. And now e-brake, it says park right there. You gotta remove it, you gotta push it down. You have to hold the pedal of the brake pedal and push this thing down. And the e-brake is removed. So this is how you replace your, you change your tire on your car. If it's the rear one, make sure the jack goes here on the rear. If it's the front one, obviously put it on the front, the jack goes there. Don't forget your e-brake, don't forget the little uh, block under their tire, and that's how you do it. Now one thing I guys want to show you, and girls, let's say this is our flat, and let's say you want to fix it. For this, we have these tools. If you find a screw, if you find like a nail in your tire, you have these things. Show you what that means so if you find a nail in your tire you can easily fix it you can remove the nail once the tires off the car remove the nail take this thing push it into the hole and like kind of like make sure this thing like files the hole and I have this it's like this rubberized string now only do this if you feel confident if you don't feel confident just don't do it just get your car to the mechanic shop they'll replace it drive with your on a spare tire no more than 60 miles per hour um, so i put this rubber string through here through this little hole and you can put some glue on the top here and plug it into the hole where the nail was if it's only like nail or screw plug it in and once you pull it back this rubber piece is going to stay there and that's how you plug your tire and you're good to go you can just inflate this uh if you have a question for example how many psi to put in the tire what's the pressure for the tire let me show you now go to the side of your driver's side door open it there's a sticker here over here tell you what size of the tires you need how many psi what's the pressure to fill up your tire this one's a 35 psi so this is the number that you need 35 psi now you see on this air pump you could set, you could set the numbers to how many psi you want the pump to pump the air into the tire so you could set 35. Uh, now if you don't have a pump that shows you this that's okay you can still do it without this fancy air pump you can just inflate your tire and then check with the pressure gauge this is a pressure gauge you can open the stand valve right here after the tire is inflated. You can put it in like this. You see it shows you numbers here on the side. It's about 32 or so. It says PSI, you see? So this is how you check. Yeah. Our spare, spare tire. Let's see how inflated it is. It's also about 31, 32, 33 or so, which is good. And also on the side here, you will have information to, okay. See here, it says PSI, max load 900 kilos, 60 PSI max. Okay, so you got the numbers. All right, now we're ready to go. You have your spare on, the bolts are tight, the brake is released, the emergency brake is released. Um, you're good to go, right? One thing is, 
if you have all-wheel drive this is very important if you have all-wheel drive do not drive on this spare for a long time do not because the computer knows it's a different thread it's a different tire the computer knows all this and the all-wheel drive system eventually will will go bad so don't drive on this just get it to a mechanic shop put this tire back as soon as you can just get yourself home get yourself to safety and then put the normal tire on there's a speed rating on this that means you cannot go over let's see i think like 60 miles an hour 55 to 60 miles an hour don't drive faster than that on a spare on a donut just to be safe now remember this very important you see my wife's car here it's an all-wheel drive system all-wheel drive now she has a tire also full it's a full size but it's still spare it's not like same like the tires installed in the car it says bridgestone and all that it's still a donut so if i install it let's say on one of the on the front or on the back doesn't matter the car all-wheel drive system it's going to know that it's a spare so computer knows like like you don't want to break your all-wheel drive system so make sure install the original tire as, as soon as you can so in my venza for example i have the jack here on the side it's here i have the lug nut remover here it's all here so make sure you check this once in a while make sure you know where your stuff is and also check if you have a spare if it's not low and if it's in good condition so for emergency i have this kind of pump it's in my trunk this is broken LCD display, but you can buy this and it's pretty good. It has a power button. You can plug it in into the electrical outlet, like in the back here. But what I did, I put these alligator trips, uh, alligator tips, and they connect it directly to the battery, positive and positive, negative and negative. Just have it in my trunk. Now, if you buy this emer auto emergency kit, there is a pump already here. And you can use this pump you can also plug it in and uh, inflate the tire and it actually show you the PSI <clears throat> so when you're inflating it you know when to stop it's a good little pump I don't know how powerful it is but better something than nothing now when you are inflating your tire and you blew a fuse the outlet is not working anymore reach one of your fuses and I'll show you where it is now here we have a fuse box and you can check all the fuses and here you can see which fuse correlates to what for example this one is a horn uh, that one some, there's some for the lights uh, there's you should look for a power outlet that one is for USB for example and it tells you what fuse you need to replace 7.1 amp you see a little air that's how what kind of fuse you need ignition main one see power outlet power outlet this is 20 one of them this is this is the one and there's little alligator tips you can just and then you can just pull it pull the fuse out and replace the fuse very good choose the right fuse that you need and plug it in and you will have the power outlet back online there are some spare fuses that i keep here which is a good idea now it's only for emergency if you blow a fuse then it's good to have some spare but not gonna happen i hope this video was helpful and uh, i hope you stay safe out there on the road now you know how to change your tire uh, if you do have an all-wheel drive vehicle i can't stress it enough do not drive on a spare tire for too long and also do not over over exceed the speed limit go like 55 no more than 60 miles per hour on a spare tire uh, very important fix your tire right away replace it once you're home or at the mechanic shop and you're good to go one thing i forgot to mention if you want to pull your car out of a ditch if you're stuck somewhere like off the road 
this is how you use it on this row four at least this is our row four right on the front of your vehicle you have these little squares in your bumper what you do you pop this so you pop this piece right here and you pop this thing take this thing and you see there's a hole right there you're screwing it into the frame Screw it in all the way to the end. Now you have an attachment point where your vehicle can be pulled out out of the ditch or off the side of the road, whatever you are. All right, so you know you you should know this. Same thing on the other side. We have a place like this.